Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studios. So, you guys all know the problem that I've been having with my hands. They are still pretty crappy. They're getting better. Um, thank you guys for all of your suggestions. I ordered some white cotton gloves. I could not find any. I went everywhere yesterday. So I ordered some. They should be here Monday. I also ordered some double thick nitrile gloves that are latex free. Um, I did get some of the CeraVe that some of you um, suggested, and that is working really good. I've been using it since yesterday, and it's when I rub my fingers together now like this, it doesn't feel like glass shards in between them. Um, but yeah, you can see they're pretty nasty looking. Uh, yeah. So I figured I wanted to do something. I wasn't even going to ever try the mix to mold or the, the powders of anything. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I get enough going between my acrylic and oil paintings and my resin work that I didn't want to pick up another medium. But when my hands broke out, I'm like, okay, I've got so much money invested in molds and I have a whole box of new molds that I want to try. So why not try the powder? So I went to Michael's yesterday. I bought a bucket of a five pound bucket of the mix to mold. I did get the gloss sealer um, that is for the mix to mold. It came with a um, these two came in a brush. They did have matte, but I like glossy, shiny things. So, so for the first thing we're going to do is I am just going to mix some of this up. The directions are really, really vague, guys. Um, so like for us, it just says a small mold size, one tablespoon of water to a uh, sixteenth one sixth of a cup of mixed mold and it makes 12. It, that tells me nothing. So I watched um, Michelle from Glitz and Glitter and I've watched a few other ones that have done either the mixed mold or some of the other brands and it looks like it's pretty forgiving. So you mix it till it's smooth, you pour it into the mold and this one here allowed to cure for 60 minutes. So We'll pour it, we'll come back in an hour, and we'll see. It does not say what you can use for colorants or anything like that. So I figured for my first one, I'm going to try this angel mold. And I'm going to take some of the bronze mica powder and mix in and see if we can get like a tannish color. Um... I don't know what the bronze is going to do, but I don't know. We're just, we're going to go, we're going to wing it. So I did go to um, Dollar Tree last night. I got this mixing bowl specifically to do these type of projects. And I bought a designated spatula, a designated big whisk. I grabbed my old one from many, many years ago. So if we need that, and then my granddaughter gave me this. She was given like three or four of these, and it's got little baby Yoda eating a frog. So she said I could have that to mix my, my resins, uh, my powder mix. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try this. I have never used this. I've only watched very few videos just to kind of, I was trying to figure out like what can you add in for Colorants, it seems like you can add pretty much anything. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We're going to try it. So I believe this takes two ounces. So I need to have at least two ounces of mix. But if I don't have enough, I can always quickly make up some more. And I do have a cup with some water in it. So I don't know. We're just, we're going to, I'm going to start with a scoop <laughs> we're gonna mix I'm gonna use a stick let me just 
move this back so we're, we don't have that in our way. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't give us working time. Uh, yeah, so it was, it's pretty vague. So I'm just going to start and we're going to just kind of add water just to get, I guess, a creamy consistency and no lumps. <laughs> and maybe a little bit more powder. Scrape my stick here. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the kind words and suggestions that you have given me. It's it's meant a lot. A lot. I got really discouraged. I was like, really? So so I haven't. This is the first time in two days that I have been back in my room because I just wanted my hands to start getting better. All right, so I think that's a little thin, but it feels, it's got a good feel to it. So we're gonna go with that. Now this is going to lighten up quite a bit. Just, it kind of gave like a, I don't know, milky sand color. All right, so let's pour and we'll see what happens. Really, I'm going to be that much short. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little scoop. And that was probably too much water. Of course it was. Really, I'm gonna mix up the same amount. Well, oh, good thing I have a cat over here. So I know that you have a little bit of work time with this, but like I said, it doesn't say a little bit more in. <clears throat> so I did get some other things at Michael's. I will um, show you that at when we demo, if these come out in this video, it's YouTube. <laughs> um, I will show you my haul. I just I just wanted to do a quick one to kind of get a feel for it before I'd like to do a fall colored bowl is what I'd like to do with this stuff. All right, so I guess we're going to scrape the stick and I'll give it another good stir and get any lumps out and then we're going to pour.
because you can use all the same molds. Whoa. Well, that has never happened before. All right. So I guess we're going to go we're going to go with that, but I am I have never had this mold tip over. So let me grab a cup. Come on, fingers, work. Oh, is that going to fit in there? No, it isn't. Oh, crap. All right, hang on. I got to get something bigger. Like, I've made three of these, and I've never had it tip. Never. All right. So, I know it could have a little bit more, but we're just going to, we're going to go with this. From my understanding, the stuff sands really easy. So, we're going to let that be. Let me grab a paper towel here and we'll come back in an hour and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, I'll be back when it's time to demold. I am just going to jiggle it a little in case there's any bubbles. Alrighty, I'll be back. Alrighty guys, it has been an hour. It's a little bit warm, not too, too bad. So let's see how this is going to demold. You know, of course, I have to pick a difficult one for my first one. You know, I couldn't have done a coaster, something simple. No, not me. And I don't know how strong this is, so... I'm trying to be as gentle as I can because I don't want to break her wings off because I love the color so far. And I don't know if you can put anything in here. Oh, plane or something must have been going over the house. <laughs> if you hear saws, my husband's doing firewood, so um, I apologize if there's any background noise. Oh, why did I have to pick a difficult one? <laughs> I'm loving the look of it so far. just get it out. I'm just going to try and keep pulling this inside out. But this might be like a good alternative in between the epoxy. My hands look so dirty on the camera. They're not dirty, really, guys. Oh, my word. <clears throat> All right, come on. Come on, Bessie. Let's go. Get up here. Trying to break that suction around her arms and her wings. It seems like it's pretty strong. Oh, it's coming. Oh, she's so pretty so far. Oh, look at 
Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I am in love. So we do got to wait um, a little bit before we seal it because um, you want to make sure that it's, you know, fully cured and dried. But oh, my word. She is absolutely beautiful. There's no bubbles. Oh. So let me just, I'm gonna grab a nail file. <clears throat> and let's just, Oh, this is so awesome. It's messy, but it's not sticky. Sands really, really nice. Well, I have a plan B. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that. She is precious. And I love the color. All right. So let me just move this out of the way. I'm going to clean this up and then I will show you my and I'm just going to dip this in some of my clear water just to wipe up the the powder mess. All right. So <clears throat> I will show you my my Michaels haul. So you, you saw all of the the powder and all that and I'm going to leave this right out cuz I'm going to start another project right after I get done this one. So, I also went to the dollar store last night. Well, Dollar Tree. When I bought that, for a dollar, I got these little pumpkins. So, I'm like, wow, we could put these on a tray or something like that. And they're, you know, they're small enough. So, even though I can't play with resin, I can still attach them to these pieces and make, you know, like a tray. So I got those, and I believe that's, yeah, that was it that I got with all the other stuff. So this is what I got at Michael's. <laughs> so all right, let's, we'll do the, oh, the basic things first here. All right, so I got some fall leaves. And I got these little wheat things and little puffy flower things. Um, and these longer wheat things. So we're going to be making a project of that. And then I also got the darker leaves just to kind of blend in with the, the bright yellow. I figured that would be a nice fall. And... I ended up getting, I had a 25% off coupon and I get my 10% senior discount and I also had two rewards. So I had $15 off. So that's when I like to go shopping. Then I got these little um, skeletons and I am going to open 
<laughs> this up because I don't know if these bend. And they do not. Okay. So I thought they were going to bend and I was going to do something else with them, but we'll still, we're going to be using these. Halloween is coming. So I got that. And then I got these really cute, they're, it's called confetti. And oh, I ended up, these I got at the um, Dollar General too. So these ones are our different color leaves. And these are like little acorns, different colors. But they're all fall colors. So I thought those would be really pretty, you know, in something. So we got that. Oh, and I got the spiders. I got some spiders. So yeah, we'll do be putting these on something. I don't know what yet, but we'll be doing that. <clears throat> and I got these little tiny tombstones. So there's six of them. So I was like, hmm, between the skeleton and, you know, everything else, we could make something, a little graveyard. And then I got these, um, they're vinyl die cut stickers. And they're from Recollections. I got them at Michael's. And I didn't even open them to see exactly what they were because I figured I would share that with you guys. All right, so, and there's two different lots of them. So this one here, there are two of the potions, two of like the crystals. Ooh, that's pretty. So you get two of these, two black cats. Ooh, and two skulls. So, they those will be going in something. All right, I'm gonna just set those there. And let's see what is in this package. So these ones look a little different. So they have um, two of like the tombstone, two happy Halloween, um, seek magic every day. Those are kind of cool. And then two with the crystal ball, past, present, and future. So yeah, we can, we can be adding these even on to this, um, this powder stuff. And once my other gloves get here, then even if I do like a top coat of epoxy or something like that, it might not be as bad for my hands. So I got those and I finally invested in some air dry clay <clears throat> because you know, there's times where you want to make a dam on one of your molds. Well, I never had anything that I could just you know, make a spot and dam it off. So I figured this is going to last me a long, long time because I don't use it a lot, but when I do want it, it's there. <clears throat> then I got these little stickers, which I thought were really cute. They're kind of 3D. I don't know if you can see how the... Well, let's just open them and I'll take them out so you can see them. All right. So see how they're... So in each one is stuck on, so you could separate them. And there's just a piece of, like, sticky in the back. So... I don't know. I just thought those would be kind of, kind of cool. So I grabbed a package of them. My husband, my husband was waiting in the car, so I was trying to be quick because I had only went in to get the powder stuff, and the 
the Michaels that I went to in South Portland, they had redid the whole store and oh my gosh, it was, it was amazing. And they had so much stuff. And then I got a big bottle. This is called um, Sugar. And it's like a opal holographic glitter, which I didn't have any. So I was like, whatever. And I did not have any fall colors of glitter. So this one is called Apple. And it's reds and golds. This is amber. So it's kind of got like golds, yellows, like green shift, a little bit of red, all the fall colors. And then this one is bright gold or brilliant. And it's just like a gold. But I figured we could mix that into either one of these and get a really pretty fall color. So I did get those. And I got a new Mod Podge because the one I had was, like, really old and getting really thick. <coughs> and then I got a thing of clear Gorilla Glue with a micro precision tip on it. So I figured I could use this to glue things on as well as the other glues that I have. But one of you viewers, one of my subscribers had mentioned, you know how like we always get the, the glue on the tip and then we can't get the covers off? Well, she had a, a brilliant suggestion, put Vaseline on the outside of the tip. So I bought a jar of Vaseline too. <laughs> so I'm going to do that because I'm tired of struggling to get my caps off. And then I got this really pretty pigment powder. It's called Grape. It's by Recollections. And I just thought it was so pretty. And we can use purples, you know, at Halloween too. So it, I, I was looking for a darker one, but they this is the only one they had. But I like the color, so I got it. And then last but not least, this is the only... Um, add-ins for the mix to mold that they had was these chorizo pieces and they're in teal so they had two packages I grabbed the last two so we will be adding these into something down the road so yeah so that was my haul from Michael's <laughs> so um I don't know if I can seal her yet or not. It doesn't say how long to wait to add the sealant. And it doesn't say fully cured in a certain amount of time or anything like that. Let me see. I did have a little paper that had come with this. I don't know if it says on here or not. I think this is just other products that they have. Okay, so maximum hardness is after 48 hours. Um... Yeah, I don't know. And it is wash um with soapy warm soapy water. <clears throat> and Yeah, I don't know. That's all it says. Very vague, very vague. So, um, let me put the, throw this stuff back in the bag here real quick, and I am going to try and coat it. All right. All right, 
So this is the mix to mold gloss sealer. Apply a thin coat to fully cured surface. Apply For normal use, apply one coat. For outdoor or heavy water use, apply three coats. And for food contact, apply five coats. And allow two hours drying time between coats, fully cures in five days. So, <clears throat> I guess we're just going to put a, a thin coat on here and see what we get. Now... I did watch a couple of videos and there was brush marks and that is not going to work for me because I hate brush marks. So I am going to try something different. Let me clean my, I already made a mess. Jeez, some, jeez, some. All right. So, all right, we'll just, we're going to, we'll try it and see. I'm going to put a thin, thin, thin coat. I was thinking about painting her, but she is just adorable. So I am just going to leave her as is. And I'm using a very small amount, guys. So with her, I probably will only do the one coat just because it's gonna be just normal, just a knickknack, basically. But I just, I wanted you guys to see the, the whole process. All right, and I am not seeing any brush marks, so. Because I was going to get like a sponge and. So maybe that's the trick is having to use very thin layers. All right, so this is our finished angel, and she is amazing. Alrighty, guys, I will see you on the next one, and we'll be doing some more of this until I run out. <laughs> Bye, guys.